Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another review of Forecast Love and Weather. This episode was something else, I'll tell you that, in a good way. To be honest, I can't remember the last time I've had so much hatred for a character in a Korean drama. I mean, the last time that I was angry towards a character was probably in Vincenzo. But after watching this episode, my anger is like through the roof. After watching this episode, I can definitely conclude two things. One, Kijun doesn't seem that bad of a character compared to somebody else. And two, the past will always creep up on you. Somehow, some way, it will. And in this review, I only have two things to talk about, so let's not beat around the bush. Let's get to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the reason why she was at the motel. It was because of his dad. His dad gambles a lot and he was trying to call Shiyu to ask for more money. That's the reason why he tried to call Yujin. He had to get to Shiyu somehow. You already know that Shiyu's dad is not a good person. There was one scene where I was just so upset with his dad. It was when Shiyu said he doesn't have any more money. But then his dad said, well, why couldn't you take out a loan? I'm like, this guy. And him being an a-hole doesn't stop there. So he overheard the conversation between Shiyu and Hakyong. Later, he went to go visit her and tried to blackmail her, saying, hey, I saw you at the motel. I know you're a director and I know you make a lot of money and we already know where, where that situation is going to head to. Later on in the episode, Shiyu does find out that his dad went after Hakyong, tried to blackmail her and all of that. He was shocked. He was upset. And he tried to apologize to Hakyong, but felt like his apology wasn't enough. Also, Shiyu isn't the only one who has a dark past with their dad. Hakyong revealed that her dad committed suicide after his business went under. Man, they really took a dark turn there. And also, this drama so far has really put the emphasis on everyone's past really coming back and haunting them. I mean, it was bad enough to see Shiyu and Hakyong dealing with their past relationships. But now dealing with a dark past involving their family? That's crazy. Now with all of that happening in this episode, to end their story in this episode, Ha Kyung wants to move in with Shiyu. That was cute and that was a good way to end the episode. I can't really say the same about Kijun and Yujin. Their situation is the complete opposite. Yujin wants to push back their marriage registration. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Karma. Now, the second and last thing I want to talk about in this review video, and I want to start it off with a question. When did Kijun become a comedy relief character? Here's the thing. At the beginning of the drama, he cheated on Ha Kyung. That reason alone should be enough to hate a character, right? But just seeing him in this episode having trouble with work and really contemplating on if he should call or text Ha Kyung made it so funny, which made his character so charming, which made me like him. But that wasn't enough. Later we see him in a bathroom stall trying to text Ha Kyung, but ended it up beating himself up over it. So he decided to call her, apologize, and ask, for help. I'm so confused. I don't know if I should hate the character or like him. Right now, I like him because he is so funny. And then towards the ending of this episode, I feel so bad for him now. Should I hate the character, like the character? I, I want him to have a good ending. Is that bad? To be honest, I don't know what direction Kijun is heading. I don't know what the writers are planning, but whatever it is, I'm all in. Because first, they made me hate him. Next, they... They made me think that he is so funny, which he was in this episode. Now I feel bad for him. I mean, karma, it is what it is. But now for some reason, I kind of want him to have a happy ending. You know, let him receive the punishment for everything that he's done first. And then later on, if he learns from his mistakes, then let him have a happy ending. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode in my review. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. See ya.